Welcome back to the channel Gadgets for Gentlemen. In today's video I'm going to show you two beautiful watches by Orient which you can consider to be like brothers of each other. I have a black version right here and a beautiful blue version. The Orient Ray 2. I'm going to sell these watches because I'm saving up for a Tudor Black Bay Blue and therefore I'm letting go of a ton of my watches in my watch collection. So here we have the uh, black version. As you can see it comes on this rubber strap. Beautiful watch and it resembles just a little 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 bit the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 in terms of that bezel. I think it's just a little bit similar. Now let me put the Orient to the side for now and show you the box. So the box is quite nice. It comes with this uh, warranty and this is the tag. I will put the reference in the description of this video. I purchased this watch on Creation Watches but you can also find it on Amazon. Usually they come with uh, some uh, nice deals. I am based in the European Union so if you want to buy this watch then feel free to uh, send me a message and we can make a nice deal. So here we have the second Orient. Let's have a closer look. As you can see the box is a little bit different from this rectangular box. I have no clue why these boxes are similar because it's actually about the same watch. And here we have the blue version. The blue on this watch uh, is a sunburst. So it's a very nice uh, color. And this one comes on a metal bracelet. This watch I also purchased on Creation Watches. I have the receipt right here. Also with the black one comes the receipt of course. There's the hang tag, warranty and spare links. So very complete watches that I haven't used much. I, I purchased them for my YouTube channel to review them. And I like these watches, but I haven't worn them um, much. So, let's get started. On the left we have the blue version. On the right we have the black version. These trays, they come from very beautiful leather. And let's have a closer look. So what we have here is an automatic watch by a Japanese brand. 200 meters water resist. We have a movement that hacks and hand winds. Screw down crown at the three o'clock. So that's the hand winding. I hope the mic picks up that sound. We have a day and date window. We have a beautiful uh, second hand with that red pip and it reads water resist 200 meters. So this particular watch has a coin edge kind of bezel with some uh, indentations as you can see right here and here and here. So it's a bit different from my typical uh, bezel. As you can see we have quite a short lock to lock distance. We have a crown signed with the Orient logo and we have quite a nice thickness. It's not overly thick. I'll give the dimensions in a second. We have an oyster style bracelet. As you can see that consists of three links. And these links they have both brushed and polished uh, parts. We have a very simple uh, clasp as you can see fold over and uh, pressed metal nothing machined and here it reads Orient. There's a couple of micro adjustments three to be exact. So sizing this bracelet is either a hit or miss. There's not much you can change but if you don't like this particular metal bracelet I think this watch really makes a fantastic strap monster you can wear it on beautiful rubber straps NATO straps so on and so forth and that is what I did so you can find yourself a 22 millimeter lug width and find any particular strap that you like for example I think the watch will look very nice on for example this blue suede leather watch strap 
just make sure you get a 22 uh, millimeter strap if you decide to change the strap. As you can see right here, we have a lock width of 22 millimeters. Now just to see the thickness, we have a mineral crystal and we have a thickness of about 12.8 millimeters. Lock to lock about 46, diameter about 41. So overall, I think great dimensions for the average wrist or the larger wrist. If you have very small wrists, then I think this watch might be too large. So let's uh, show you the movement or the way the watch functions. So we have an in-house movement by Orient. Uh, I unscrew the crown and when we pull the crown, as you can see, the uh, watch stops running and this allows us to change the time as well as the date. So we have a date changed at about midnight and then we have a day change past midnight at about 1, 2 a.m. and then we have French uh, lundi and then we go to English again Tuesday. So there's two languages in this uh, date wheel and let's uh, put the uh, watch back in action. We we push back the crown and then we uh, screw it down. My only gripe about this watch is I think the crown is quite small, making it not super easy to change uh, time, but it works. Now let me throw it on the scale. I removed a couple of links on this watch. So it is sized to a 6.3 inches wrist. So the watch comes in at about 157 grams sized on the original metal bracelet to a 6.3 inches wrist. Now by comparison, 157, let me compare it to the Orient Ray on the rubber strap, 99 grams, 156, 57. So what you can see is the metal uh, bracelet actually weighs quite a bit compared to this uh, rubber strap. Now let's have a closer look at the black version. Now here we have the black version, which honestly is my favorite because this dial is matte. It is not glossy, no sunburst. It's just very understated. And because of that black on black, that black bezel, black um, aluminum bezel insert, black dial, I think this watch really goes well with like a ton of different NATO strap, for example, with like olive, green, with beige. I think this watch looks quite uh, wonderful. Now the original uh, rubber strap, which is not actual rubber, but it's called uh, polyurethane, I think. It's like artificial rubber. This strap actually is quite nice for the price. It has these dolphins as a logo here on the strap, as you can see. And you can tell that this watch is actually designed for a little bit of uh, larger wrists because for my wrist, actually this strap is quite uh, too long for my wrist. But then imagine if you were to wear this over your wetsuit, then everything just makes sense. So for me, this watch for my 6.3 inches wrist is a little bit too large, uh, either on the um, original rubber strap as well as the metal bracelet. But if I were to throw this on a NATO strap that I've done like most of the time, then uh, actually this watch is very wearable, especially because of that uh, nice uh, lock to lock distance, not so thick uh, profile with only like under 13 millimeters for a 200 meter diver. I think that's not bad at all. And then I think it's just a, a preference of um, in terms of color, if you want something a bit more flashy that really pops and really plays with the light uh, and, and contrasts with that silver colored uh, metal bracelet, I think the blue one is your friend. But if you want something a little bit more understated, more two-tastic, and if you want to be able to pair it up with like a ton of different um, aftermarket straps, NATO straps, rubber straps, leather straps, then I think the black is better. So my favorite has been the black version 
and you know I'm going to sell these two watches loom is really nice on this watch as well I will wrap up with throwing them on my wrist to show you what it looks like on the 6.3 inches wrist but I have nothing bad to say about these watches uh, they are very I think one of the best automatic watches to get started uh, in your watch journey you know small shortcomings are for example the small crown lack of a sapphire crystal but for this price point I, I don't think you can complain much I think the metal bracelet as well as the rubber strap they are not bad at this price point but of course uh, I'd rather throw them on a NATO strap now let me throw them on the wrist and here we have the blue one on the wrist uh, as you can see with my 6.3 inches wrist actually it's quite a nice fit I thought uh, for some time it was too big for my wrist but it actually it wears quite nice and the blue just is really really beautiful now let's go to the right side and show you the black version on the rubber strap as you can see the strap is very very long so if you have bigger wrists then uh, this strap will suit you better and again I think that black is just very 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 beautiful so such an underrated watch I know like most people love the Seiko SKX which I can totally understand but I think the uh, Citizen Promaster as well as these Orient watches are also uh, noteworthy they're they're interesting to to look at and um, they're very affordable and easily accessible so if you are based in the European Union if you want to buy uh, a watch that is not used much then feel free to send me a message on Instagram gadgets for gentlemen or Gmail um, gadgets for gentlemen at gmail.com so thank you for watching have a great day and see you soon